Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, what I'm loving about today's show is that we're taking our favorite takeaways, but we're leveling up in the kitchen. Nebo Chef? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're taking it up to the top, yes. <laughs> well, let's take it to the top floor with this delicious recipe. Now, fish and slap chips is a South African favorite takeaway, but we insist that you try Chef Sipo's version, a delicious battered fish with a loaded cauliflower salad dressed in a tangy paprika salad cream. Mm -hmm. Take us through it, Chef. Yes, I love cauliflower. So it, cauliflower, you can add broccoli in it into, mm -hmm. and, and, and roast it to make a salad. And this salad, it's loaded with protein, which is egg and some bacon. So you can just eat it as is. It's a meal in one. You don't have to have it with fish. So yeah, it's so delicious. All you, all you need to do is to just roast your cauliflower. You break your cauliflower head into florets, like these are florets, you call it florets. Then you just season it with salt and pepper and some olive oil, drizzle it with olive oil, that's it. Then in the oven, you roast it in the oven and you have your cauliflower, roasted cauliflower. Now with veggies, keeping them nice and crunchy is always so difficult for so many South Africans. So how can we ensure that this cauliflower stays crunchy? How long does it need to be in the oven for? It needs to be in the oven for just 20 to 25 minutes, that's it. Okay, yeah. lovely. Mm -hmm. Do me on the fish station? Yes, Bali, I'm on fish station today and I wanna give people a tip whenever you're breading your fish, whether you, whenever you're putting a batter on it. Most people just go straight from the fish into the batter. I like to tell you, start with a layer of flour because that also helps the batter stick onto your fish. If you don't do that, you'll find that as your fish goes into the oil, then the rest of the batter comes off of it instead of it sticking onto your fish. So before making the batter, I'm using the same flour to actually make the batter for us. And Shit. it's quite... Mm. Quite simple, Chef. I see you've got us here just some flour, some um, sparkling water, some eggs. All of those are going to be making this batter for this fish. Oh, course. yes. And it's very light. It's a light batter yeah. because of the soda water. Mm. Oh, you can use soda water or beer. So, oh, wow. yes. So the fermentation, okay. just keeping that um, extra flavours going on in the kitchen. I know you, Chef, you had a very, very iconic tip, I would like to say, when you need to remember how to create the perfect batter. You said something about the month of February. <laughs> oh, yes. I know people, they always spoke. They always twist the method of uh, doing the breading when doing the fish or whatever. So I always tell them, remember the month of February, which then in short, it's Feb. It's flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Mm. You will never, ever forget the process of doing the, the <laughs> bread. <laughs> Iconic. Now, um, Chef, that's what Dumi is there doing, making sure that the batter is perfect. Yes. But you are already, we're just going to assume that our cauliflower has just come out mm -hmm. of the oven and now it's time to assemble this um, salad. Yes. Uh, so now we have our cauliflower roasted here. Like I said, you can add some broccoli if you love broccoli. I love it. Then we have some fried bacon, which I'm just going to rough Quickly chop it, some chopped bacon, just add it. Then some, uh, then we're gonna cut some eggs. You can chop your eggs into quarters or whichever way you like. Doesn't have to be in quarters. Can you mm. please make uh, the tangy paprika salad for me? You're just gonna add the paprika. There's paprika and uh, some salt and, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Okay, right. and I'm going to be, just continue there, Chef, with what you're All doing right. as I add this mayonnaise. And then we're some using... cheese. Then we're going to finish off with some chopped spring onions. Now, as I am finishing up this beautiful um, and tasty dressing that we um, are using. I'm all about the creaminess in any dressing. I love yes. a rather creamy based dressing than anything else, than olive oil or any mm -hmm. alternative. Mm -hmm. And today we decided to go with the Clover Classic Mayonnaise range, which is available in three levels of tanginess. You can get mild, medium or strong. Today we went with a little bit of a mild tanginess. Uh, Why is that, Chef? Uh, mild tanginess because uh, this, the, the, the dressing, you're gonna add a little bit of a uh, of lemon juice to have that tanginess. Okay. So that's why we go with the mild one. Understood. Mm -hmm. Now mix that up, Chef. You said in this it goes um, lemon juice, some mayonnaise, paprika. Do you yes. need salt and pepper? Yes, we do need salt and pepper just for seasoning. 
Okay. You always need salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but as I tip when everyone is, anyone is frying their fish, whenever you dunk your fish into the oil, before you just release it, I'd like you to suggest when you add it in there, swirl it a bit in the oil so it creates a bit of a coat, for, a coat first and then leave it in the oil to fry. This I'm gonna leave to fry for about 10 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the outside. Take it out and serve it alongside that beautiful tangy mayo salad that you've just made here. And voila. If this is what to expect, it is delicious. It is also filling, but definitely does remind me of my favorite takeaway spot. Now, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.